Uh, starting the vlog here right now. Um, peace and greetings. <laughs> I'm actually sitting in the second row of my van. Uh, I took the bed out temporarily. I'm currently back up at our other property and it's up in the desert, like 5,000 feet. Um, it's gonna be about 29 degrees tonight. Um, but you know, Alaska, uh, we're still warm, not really bad. Uh, but yeah, I took the bed out because I was coming with uh, four other people. We dropped one guy off and uh, he got a rental car <coughs> and I uh, went to California. Um, but I'm with uh, one Brazilian friend and uh, my roommate slash boss. And we're here for a day, uh, just checking on some things. Just want to show y'all the setup. I'm going to be sleeping on sleeping pad, thing of Reflectex, three inch me memory foam. How, how to sleep in your van in cold weather, by the way. Um, <laughs> I got a blanket over that, zero degree marmot bag, and, and uh, another blanket over that. And that should be keeping me warm tonight. Also got this Patagonia jacket, some wool socks. <laughs> That's how you stay warm. Uh, but yeah, just another day in the van life. Um, thought I would update you guys. Try and be the best I can to capture footage. Um, but yeah, out here in like southeastern Oregon, about 5,000 feet up. It was snowing a few days ago. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cold. Uh, but yeah, just try to show y'all. Um, you really don't have to plan too much to sleep in your van. Um, I know I have been living in my van for a while, but kind of just like took out everything, took out a lot of stuff so I could uh, travel with three people and at the end of the night, still sleeping in my van. It's really no big deal, super easy, super simple. I will keep this vlog going tomorrow when it's uh, daylight and um, can capture some other footage. I'm at the same property of my Rayton RV too, so stay tuned. This is the outdoor kitchen sink. Got some dishes, gray water. Got a rack under this nice cedar tree. Yeah. This is the outdoor kitchen sink. Got some dishes, gray water. Got a rack under this nice cedar tree. Yeah. Back in the waiting. Told y'all come back. Told y'all. Didn't believe me. Didn't believe me. <clears throat> oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm back here. Greetings, this is Divine Zero by the way. Day two, uh, back here in the waiting RV. Uh, just chilling. Wasn't that, wasn't that cold? Uh, but I did stay in my van. Didn't want to sleep in here. Honestly, don't like sleeping in here because of the rats. It's more of just like a daytime slash nighttime chill out spot. Uh, but regardless, still nice and cozy. Especially when it's raining. It's cool to come in here and chill out for a second. <laughs> About to leave here. Uh, I was only here for like a day and a half or whatever. And um, yeah, I gotta head out here before the snow hits up here 5,000 feet. Um, the mountain pass will probably have snow and ice, uh, but hope to get back nice and safe. Uh, should close close this door. I think someone forgot to close my hatch. Dang it! <laughs> but uh, yeah, just a quick video um, up here in the high desert. Just thought I'd give you guys a little update. Um, still out here, still alive. My crazy life. Van life, nomadic life. Really, it's just nomadic life now. It's beyond van life. Van life was the start. You can get on the nomadic life in multiple ways. <laughs> I guess I got on it with the van life. Uh, but yeah, peace and love. Gonna take these, gonna take me and uh, two female friends and our hound dog back, uh, back west. See y'all in a little bit. Divine Zio, signing out in my late RV. Peace. <laughs>